Hey there, in today's video I'm going to be opening up a package. This is another package from J.E. Porte, which is uh, Jesus Corona. I've got some more DTF transfers from him, so let's get started. This this uh, supposed to be my logo. Um, let's see. Um, ooh, I'm dropping everything. This is actually a couple of logos that I designed, and I'm excited about these two. Also, the time and temperature has changed, and I'll explain in this video what the new time and temperature is. And I'm also going to give you some key points that might help you in the process. I'll let you know um, at the end of the video when I add my information or whatever I need to. I'll let you know what the time and temperature is going to be uh, because it's not going to be the same after all. So I, it was already too high for the temperature and too much time on the, on the heat. My shirt logo colors are CMYK plus white. For some reason here they uh, look red and blue instead of cyan and magenta. So let's see how they press. And I'm also going to share three new signature series logos that I came up with that I'm going to probably do as a giveaway or maybe just sport myself. So I got two of those. And then I also had this design made. Originally it was uh, going to be gray background only because I wanted, it, I wanted to be able to put it on a black shirt. And the good thing about Jesus is he will question uh, your artwork. Um, he did ask me if I wanted the gray background, and I did because, like I said, I wanted it. I wanted to be able to, <clears throat> excuse me, to put black on black. So I, I did the gray background, and then when he asked me, I was kind of thinking, I wonder if I should just do an offset. So I asked him, can you just do it with an offset? And he said that's what I was gonna suggest. So I made the comment. I made the comment that great might great minds think alike. But so anyway, this was changed, which is a good thing. So that's uh, my signature logo. And here's another one. It was the same scenario. I told him since we were doing uh, the offset on this one, I told him to go ahead and do the offset on this one because originally it was solid black. And I thought this would be cool to do it that way too. Um, I will have to probably cut here because I don't really want this to be solid. I want it to be open. And when I order some, when I when I order more, get more, I'll uh, I'll make sure he removes that. Um, but anyway, that's my other signature logo. And this one it's supposed to be blue, but I think it looks blue because of the transfer. I'm not sure, but. This is another one of my signature logos, is what I'm calling them, signature logos. It's supposed to be blue, so you can see the signature, just say the word. Um, but either way, it looks good, and I just wanted to share these with you. So again, uh, he will question your artwork, and the time and temperature, I believe, was going to be at 315 degrees with a 15-second press. He did not mention uh, if he was going to require a second press. I'm not going to do a second press. I'm just going to do a warm to cold peel on cotton. Whenever you get ready to place your order, he will include all the uh, pressing instructions. And he does, I'll add his, an email for the direct, for the DTF uh, transfers. So you don't have to worry about going through Etsy or trying to get a hold of him through Etsy. And the reason, I don't know if you're seeing this, but the reason that you, if it looks shiny, it's the stickiness from the bottom of the, from the, from the, from behind the, I don't want to touch it, from the, uh, the actual image or the transfer. I know, I know they use powder. I don't know what else they use, but this part's not going to matter. Um, it's just adhesive. It's not going to matter because you're going to use a Teflon sheet anyway when you press it. So if you're seeing the shininess, that's that's what it is. 
or if it looks glossy or a little wet, that's what it is. But the front is no big deal because I'm not touching the actual image with the transfer. So that's all it is. This is the part that you, you need to worry about because that's what's going to transfer to the shirt. I cannot wait to use these. Um, this is supposed to be blue. I'm not sure. It doesn't look blue. Yeah, I think it's black, but it's fine because I like black and yellow together. So no big deal. So I'm anxious to see what that looks like. This one also. This one and left chest. When I do the ones I just mentioned, I'm going to be doing this shirt. And this is another Walmart shirt. This was for me, for, for my personal wear. So my, my daily wear. All the sticky stuff. Anyway, I bought, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this for that, and then I'm gonna do sleeve sleeve prints. And if anybody noticed the last the last video or the first video I made with DTF, I had made a comment or I made a note, do not use, and I put an arrow facing here. It was not the shirt after all, because. After I did the pressing, I noticed right away that that was happening. That was way too much heat for way too long. So I did let um, Jesus know so he can do testing on his end and check his on his end if that was if it was just my shirt or me possibly using too much heat the second time around. I don't know, but anyway, he did change the temperature. And again, me personally, I'm gonna. Use 305, 10 seconds, or 305, 12 seconds, and then just one press and that's it. But that's just me. Again, what works for me may not work for you. So I, um, I encourage you to test these because I don't know the powder process. I don't know the process for these. Um, I don't know. I know everybody's doing their process different. I'm pretty sure not everybody's the same, but again, I don't, I don't do DTF. I'm not an expert at this, but test, play around with it. Uh, sometimes it could have something to do with your, your heat platen or your heat press. Um, it's important to have a heat gun to check your temperature. So anyway, I'm going to do 305 to 310, 10 to 12 seconds and call it a day. And just press it one time and no more after that. I'm just going to let it, I'm uh, probably going to do a cold peel still, warm to cold peel. And then I'm not going to press it again. That's going to be it. So I think that should, I think that should um, alleviate any issues. And another thing, <laughs> the, the main reason I said not to use these shirts, and I'm glad I remembered, is because these shirts are made, I don't know, I don't know if they're sewn wrong, but this is, this is made with the seam here, but it's, it's made low. It's not, the seam should be up here. And when I press these shirts, these, uh, when I press this image, this transfer, I lined it up here. And after I was done with it, I remembered that this, that this was off. I remembered after the fact and so I knew when I wore it that this was going to be more to the front. And it doesn't look bad, but it just, it, it's not a good look, in, in my opinion. It just doesn't look right to me. So this, this is uh, pretty much trash, which is no big deal. Um, it was my personal shirt anyway. This one I am going to press. Again, I'm going to do sleeves here. And I'm going to do the other ones. I just got to go buy some, some more shirts and I'll make another video pressing maybe five or six shirts, maybe more, maybe seven shirts. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you. Time and temperature change, my logo and my signature series. There's three of them. If you have any comments or any questions, please let me know. Please reach out to Jesus if you need some DTF transfers. That's all I have for now. Until next time.